In mathematics, a curve, also called a curved line in older texts, is generally speaking an object similar to a line but that need not be straight. Thus, a curve is a generalization of a line in that it may be curved. Intuitively, a curve may be thought as the trace left by a moving point. This is the definition that appeared more 2000 years ago in Euclid's Elements. The curved line is, the first species of quantity, which has only one dimension, namely length, without any width nor depth, and is nothing else than the flow or run of the point which, will leave from its imaginary moving some vestige in length, exempt of any width." This definition of a curve has been formalized in modern mathematics as, a curve is the image of a continuous function from an interval to a topological space. In some context, the function that defines the curve is called a parametrization, and the curve is a parametric curve. These curves are sometimes called topological curves for distinguishing them from more constrained curves such as differentiable curves. This definition encompasses most curves that are studied in mathematics. Notable exceptions are level curves, which are in fact unions of topological curves and algebraic curves, see below. Level curves and algebraic curves are sometimes called implicit curves since they are generally defined by implicit equations. Nevertheless, the class of topological curves is very broad, and contains some curves that do not look as one may expect for a curve, or even cannot be drawn. This is the case of space-filling curves and fractal curves. For ensuring more regularity, the function that defines a curve is often supposed to be differentiable, and the curve is then said a differentiable curve. A plane algebraic curve is the zero set of a polynomial in two indeterminates. More generally, an algebraic curve is the zero set of a finite set of polynomials, which satisfies the further condition of being an algebraic variety of dimension 1. If the coefficients of the polynomials belong to a field K, the curve is said to be defined over K. In the common case of a real algebraic curve, where k is the field of real numbers, an algebraic curve is a finite union of topological curves. When complex zeros are considered, one has a complex algebraic curve, which, from the topologically point of view, is not a curve, but a surface, and is often called a Riemann surface. Although not being curves in the common sense, algebraic curves defined over other fields have been widely studied. In particular, algebraic curves over a finite field are widely used in modern cryptography. History Interest in curves began long before they were the subject of mathematical study. This can be seen in numerous examples of their decorative use in art and on everyday objects dating back to prehistoric times. Curves, or at least their graphical representations, are simple to create, for example by a stick in the sand on a beach. Historically, the term line was used in place of the more modern term curve. Hence the phrases straight line and right line were used to distinguish what are today called lines from curved lines. For example, in Book I of Euclid's Elements, a line is defined as a breathless length def. 2, while a straight line is defined as a line that lies evenly with the points on itself. Def. 4. Euclid's idea of a line is perhaps clarified by the statement, "...the extremities of a line are points." Def. 3. Later commentators further classified lines according to various schemes. For example, Composite lines lines forming an angle In composite lines determinate lines that do not extend indefinitely such as the circle indeterminate lines that extend indefinitely such as the straight line and the parabola 
The Greek geometers had studied many other kinds of curves. One reason was their interest in solving geometrical problems that could not be solved using standard compass and straight edge construction. These curves include the conic sections, deeply studied by Apollonius of Perga, the cissoid of Diocles, studied by Diocles and used as a method to double the cube. The Kanchoid of Nicomedes, studied by Nicomedes as a method to both double the cube and to trisect an angle. The Archimedean spiral, studied by Archimedes as a method to trisect an angle and square the circle. The Spiric sections, sections of Tauri studied by Perseus as sections of cones had been studied by Apollonius. A fundamental advance in the theory of curves was the introduction of analytic geometry by René Descartes in the 17th century. This enabled a curve to be described using an equation rather than an elaborate geometrical construction. This not only allowed new curves to be defined and studied, but it enabled a formal distinction to be made between algebraic curves curves that can be defined using polynomial equations, and transcendental curves that cannot. Previously, curves had been described as «geometrical» or «mechanical» according to how they were, or supposedly could be, generated, conic sections were applied in astronomy by Kepler. Newton also worked on an early example in the calculus of variations. Solutions to variational problems, such as the brachistochrone and tautochrone questions, introduced properties of curves in new ways in this case, the cycloid. The catenary gets its name as the solution to the problem of a hanging chain, the sort of question that became routinely accessible by means of differential calculus. In the 18th century came the beginnings of the theory of plane algebraic curves, in general. Newton had studied the cubic curves, in the general description of the real points into ovals. The statement of Bezout's theorem showed a number of aspects which were not directly accessible to the geometry of the time, to do with singular points and complex solutions. Since the 19th century, curve theory is viewed as the special case of dimension 1 of the theory of manifolds and algebraic varieties. Nevertheless, many questions remain specific to curves, such as space-filling curves, Jordan curve theorem and Hilbert's sixteenth problem. <laughs> Topological curve A topological curve can be specified by a continuous function gamma i X display style gamma colon i right arrow x from an interval i of the real numbers into a topological space x. Properly speaking, the curve is the image of gamma display style gamma. However, in some contexts, this is gamma display style gamma which is called a curve, especially when the image does not look like what is generally called a curve, and does not characterize sufficiently gamma. For example, the image of the Pinot curve or, more generally, a space-filling curve completely fills a square, and therefore does not give any information on how gamma is defined a curve gamma display style gamma is closed or is a loop if i equals a b display style i equals a b and gamma a equals gamma B display style gamma a equals gamma b. A closed curve is thus the image of a continuous mapping of a circle. 
A curve is simple if it is the image of an interval or a circle by an injective continuous function. In other words, if a curve is defined by a continuous function gamma display style gamma with an interval as a domain, the curve is simple if and only if two different points of the interval have different images, except possibly if the points are the endpoints of the interval. Intuitively, a simple curve is a curve that does not cross itself and has no missing points. A simple closed curve is also called a Jordan curve. The Jordan curve theorem states that the set complement in a plane of a Jordan curve consists of two connected components that is the curve divides the plane in two non-intersecting regions that are both connected. A plane curve is a curve for which x is the Euclidean plane these are the examples first encountered or in some cases the projective plane a space curve is a curve for which x display style x is at least 3 dimensional a skew curve is a space curve which lies in no plane these definitions of plane, space and skew curves apply also to real algebraic curves, although the above definition of a curve does not apply a real algebraic curve may be disconnected. The definition of a curve includes figures that can hardly be called curves in common usage. For example, the image of a simple curve can cover a square in the plane space -filling curve and thus have a positive area. Fractal curves can have properties that are strange for the common sense. For example, a fractal curve can have a Hausdorff dimension bigger than 1 see Cox snowflake and even a positive area. An example is the dragon curve, which has many other unusual properties. <laughs> Differentiable curve Roughly speaking a differentiable curve is a curve that is defined as being locally the image of an injective differentiable function gamma i x display style gamma colon i right arrow x from an interval i of the real numbers into a differentiable manifold x often r n Display style math b r caret n. More precisely, a differentiable curve is a subset C of X where every point of C has a neighborhood U such that C U display style C cap U is diffeomorphic to an interval of the real numbers. In other words, a differentiable curve is a differentiable manifold of dimension 1. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Length of a curve. If x equals r n display style x equals math b r caret n is the n display style n dimensional euclidean space and if gamma a b r n display style gamma a b 2 math b r caret n is an injective and continuously differentiable function then the length of gamma display style gamma is defined as the quantity length gamma equals df a b gamma t d t Display style operator name length gamma tilde stackrel text df equals tilde int underscore a carrot b gamma t tilde mathrm d t. 
the length of a curve is independent of the parametrization gamma display style gamma in particular the length s display style s of the graph of a continuously differentiable function y equals f x display style y equals f x defined on a closed interval a b display style a b is s equals a b 1 plus f x 2 d x display style s equals int underscore a carrot b s q r t 1 plus f x carrot 2 tilde mathrm d x more generally if x display style x is a metric space with metric d display style d then we can define the length of a curve gamma a b x display style gamma a b to x by length gamma equals df sup i equals 1 n d gamma t i gamma t i minus 1 n element of n and a equals t zero t one t n equals b display style operator name length gamma tilde stackrel text df equals tilde sup left left sum underscore i equals one caret n d gamma t underscore i gamma t underscore i one tilde big tilde n in math b n tilde text and tilde equals t underscore zero where the supremum is taken over all n element of n display style n in math b n and all partitions t0 t1 tn display style t underscore 0 of a b display style a b a rectifiable curve is a curve with finite length a curve gamma a b x display style gamma a b to x is called natural or unit speed or parametrized by arc length if for any t 1 t 2 element of a b display style t underscore 1 t underscore 2 in a b such that t one t two display style t underscore one leq t underscore two we have length gamma t one t two equals t two minus t 1 display style operator name length left gamma underscore t underscore 1 t underscore 2 right equals t underscore 2 t underscore 1 if gamma a b x display style gamma a b to x is a Lipschitz continuous function, then it is automatically rectifiable. 
Moreover, in this case, one can define the speed or metric derivative of gamma display style gamma at t element of a b display style t in a b as speed gamma t equals df lim sup a b s t d gamma s gamma t s minus t Display style operator name speed underscore gamma t tilde stackrel text df equals tilde limbs up underscore a b knee s to t frac d gamma s gamma t s t and then show that length gamma equals a b speed gamma t d t display style operator name length gamma equals int underscore a caret b operator name speed underscore gamma t tilde mathrm d t topic differential geometry While the first examples of curves that are met are mostly plane curves that is, in everyday words, curved lines in two-dimensional space, there are obvious examples such as the helix which exist naturally in three dimensions. The needs of geometry, and also for example classical mechanics are to have a notion of curve in space of any number of dimensions. In general relativity, a world line is a curve in space-time. If x display style x is a differentiable manifold, then we can define the notion of differentiable curve in x display style x. This general idea is enough to cover many of the applications of curves in mathematics. From a local point of view one can take x display style x to be euclidean space on the other hand it is useful to be more general in that for example it is possible to define the tangent vectors to x display style x by means of this notion of curve if x display style x is a smooth manifold a smooth curve in x display style x is a smooth map gamma i x display style gamma colon i right arrow x this is a basic notion there are less and more restricted ideas too if X display style X is a C K display style C carrot K manifold, i.e., a manifold whose charts are K display style K times continuously differentiable, then a C K display style c caret k curve in x display style x is such a curve which is only assumed to be c k display style c caret k ie k display style k times continuously differentiable if x display style x 
is an analytic manifold i.e. infinitely differentiable and charts are expressible as power series and gamma display style gamma is an analytic map then gamma display style gamma is said to be an analytic curve a differentiable curve is said to be regular if its derivative never vanishes in words, a regular curve never slows to a stop or backtracks on itself. 2 c k display style c caret k differentiable curves gamma 1 i x display style gamma underscore 1 colon i right arrow x and gamma 2 j x display style gamma underscore 2 colon j right arrow x are said to be equivalent if there is a bijective c k display style c caret k map p j I display style p colon j right arrow i such that the inverse map p minus one i j display style p caret minus one colon i right arrow j is also c k Display style c caret k and gamma two t equals gamma one p t display style gamma underscore two t equals gamma underscore one p t for all t display style t the map gamma 2 display style gamma underscore 2 is called a reparametrization of gamma 1 display style gamma underscore 1 and this makes an equivalence relation on the set of all c k Display style c caret k differentiable curves in x display style x a c k display style c caret k arc is an equivalence class of c k display style c caret k curves under the relation of reparametrization topic <laughs> algebraic curve algebraic curves are the curves considered in algebraic geometry a plane algebraic curve is the set of the points of coordinates x, y such that f x, y equals 0, where f is a polynomial in two variables defined over some field f1 says that the curve is defined over f. Algebraic geometry normally looks not only on points with coordinates in f but on all the points with coordinates in an algebraically closed field k. If C is a curve defined by a polynomial f with coefficients in f, the curve is said to be defined over f. In the case of a curve defined over the real numbers, one normally looks on points with complex coordinates. In this case, a point with real coordinates is a real point, and the set of all real points is the real part of the curve. So, it is only the real part of an algebraic curve that can be a topological curve this is not always the case as, SA the real part of an algebraic curve may be disconnected and contain isolated points. The whole curve, that is the set of its complex point is, from the topological point of view a surface. 
In particular, the non-singular complex projective algebraic curves are called Riemann surfaces. The points of a curve C with coordinates in a field G are said to be rational over G and can be denoted C G. When G is the field of the rational numbers, one simply talks of rational points. For example, Fermat's last theorem may be restated as, for n greater than 2, every rational point of the Fermat curve of degree n has a zero coordinate. Algebraic curves can also be space curves, or curves in a space of higher dimension, say n. They are defined as algebraic varieties of dimension 1. They may be obtained as the common solutions of at least n1 polynomial equations in n variables. If n1 polynomials are sufficient to define a curve in a space of dimension n, the curve is said to be a complete intersection. By eliminating variables by any tool of elimination theory, an algebraic curve may be projected onto a plain algebraic curve, which however may introduce new singularities such as cusps or double points. A plane curve may also be completed in a curve in the projective plane. If a curve is defined by a polynomial f of total degree d, then wdf u w v w simplifies to a homogeneous polynomial g u v w of degree d. The values of u v w such that g u v w. Topic zero are the homogeneous coordinates of the points of the completion of the curve in the projective plane, and the points of the initial curve are those such that W is not zero. An example is the Fermat curve Un plus V n. W n, which has an affine form x n plus Un equals one. A similar process of homogenization may be defined for curves in higher dimensional spaces. Except for lines, the simplest examples of algebraic curves are the conics, which are nonsingular curves of degree 2 and genus 0. Elliptic curves, which are nonsingular curves of genus 1 are studied in number theory, and have important applications to cryptography. Topic. See also. Equals equals notes.